So there's a new Crash Team Rumble video that is out right now and it is the review of a map called Tiki Towers. Now if you want to know more about how the game works, this might actually be an exciting video for you. However, if you're looking for a release date, I'm sorry to burst your bubble but this video has none of it. Anyways, let's go through it and immediately upon watching this new review, there you have it, Tiki Towers is the name of this map and whatever you're seeing from this point on is actually captured on the PS5 in-game engine. We then have a great overview span of the map itself and in case if it isn't clear enough, this is the exact same map that was in the main trailer itself. Now one thing that stands out to me is the interesting layout and the location of the spawn points. You can tell that chaos is imminent at the start of the round as both seem to be able to engage as soon as the round begins. Moving on, let's talk about the hazards for a bit. In this shot right here, you can see that these cannons are basically shooting at the blue team's goal. Now I have a strong feeling that this is activated manually and I'll be showing you why later in a second. But moving on, this part of the video is pretty interesting because we finally understand what the relic platforms are for. And in this case, Crash summoned a trampoline with it to launch himself up into the air just to cannonball himself all the way down again. It probably costed a few relics to activate this platform and if that's the case, this explains why there are relics scattered across the map for you to collect. Now there are more of these relic platforms around based on what we can see here, so there are going to be a lot more of these power-ups that aren't revealed yet. Now what Crash did next is actually pretty interesting, as we get to see him activate another relic platform and it spawns lava balls, only this time landing on the red team's goal instead. Going back to the cannonballs over at the blue team side, and this is why I think this is manually activated as well. Now what is the purpose of having both of these traps? We do not know yet for sure, but my guess is that it is used for defensive purposes to keep the opposing team away from stealing their Wumpa Fruits. I think that would make a lot more sense. Now this next part is also pretty interesting as what we see is a golden relic platform with the hologram of Uka Uka. This sort of symbolizes that this may be the most powerful one on the map, and it may take the most relics compared to other relic platforms to activate. What happens next is exactly what we've seen in the main trailer as Meteorite starts raining down on the map with Uka Uka's powers active. Obviously, this is devastating for the enemy team, but we couldn't see more of it as it cuts to the end. Now, all of these are great and all, but there are still questions left unanswered like power-up cooldowns, individual abilities, and more. So hopefully, we'll be getting way more review in terms of the gameplay itself and how the game will actually play out, because I think that is what people are really really looking forward to find out more about. Anyway, let's see if more reviews are coming for the next few weeks as I really want to know more about Crash Team Rumble.